Okay, this tutorial shows you how to use a date picker. Um, it allows users to enter the date or uh, select the date from a calendar pop-up. So let me just create a JavaFX um, project. Okay, let me copy package to fxml documents dot fxml so that um, three documents can uh, connect to each other. Now uh, let's open fxml documents with the same builder. Um, seems like a anchor pane looks slightly smaller, so let me enlarge it to uh, most likely double size, 640 and uh, 400 height. Let me make some looms, then let me remove labels. So we are looking for a uh, date picker. It comes with uh, JavaFX and uh, sorry, uh, JavaFX version 8. Then one text area, so we can we can actually see what's actually happening. So let me just look at the uh, preview. So you can select the date. Today is the 9th January 2019. So when you click OK, uh, it's going to get the data, then print to a uh, text area. That's what we are trying to do. And then maybe a couple of other things as well. So the picker I will name is a uh, initial, most like a DP calendar, but I will just use the initial for the picker DP. Then button I may name it as a uh, um, button OK, I guess. So FX ID, I will say button OK, BTN OK. Then uh, label, I will change the OK. Text area. Let me name uh, objects FX ID, um, TA information. Uh, I will try to use the same same object name as other tutorials. Now save, then uh, go back to NetBeans. So make new controller, or you can update your controller. Okay, let me remove those uh, two lines. I don't need to use it. Okay, uh, cancel um, import statement button. So let me uh, go through one by one. Um, I will show you a couple of examples. The first one is uh, date picker. Uh, okay. Um, seems like uh, I did not declare somehow. Okay, the picker. Okay, I think I made a mistake. I will, I'll name it as a uh, text. Okay, let me remove it. FX ID. Okay, the picker here. So it should be okay now. So let me update the controller. Now it's okay. So. TA informations, I will say uh, open text. T 
TP value uh, actually return a uh, local date, which is the object. And uh, it has to be a string value. So let me say uh, to string. So uh, you press Control Spacebar, then uh, it's going to show you uh, return type, which is a uh, local date. Okay. So it has to be a. Uh, we have to convert to string, or you can just add a new line, so that you can remove to string. But actually, it make more logically sense. So I will keep it to string, but you can remove it if you want to. Okay, you can test it. Either you can type in text field or you can pick one. So uh, January 9, 2019. Now it shows up as a 2019 January 9. So you can manually change to yesterday 8. Now you can see uh, the calendar changed to 8 from 9. So if you click OK, uh, it shows you year, day, months. Okay, let's look at a couple of other options. Uh, local date comes with a lot of uh, uh, built-in methods. So uh, let me just put comments first. So get the value of a local date. Then uh, let me go through most useful methods belongs to local date. That's the return type when we use the DP dot get value. So get the year field only. So let's say 2019. If you select the date of uh, today, then uh, each year should be uh, 2019. So you can get year. Let me add a new line so it really looks much better on text area. Okay, next one, uh, get the month's field from um, January to December. It actually returned the um, string value January for this month, uh, for next month, February. So just say uh, dp get value that return a local date. So we can actually call from a circle. Uh, get months, then uh, surround by uh, TA information, then open text. I will add a new line. So that will return a uh, string value uh, January for this month. We can actually get numeric values to uh, get the months field from uh, number 1 to 12. It starts from number one, not number zero. TP get value dot get month value. Okay, we can uh, surround by a TA object calling uh, appendix. Also, we can get the uh, day, day of the month. So today um, is the ninth. So it will return the number, numeric value number nine. So dp get value dot uh, get day of month. And then TA information open text. Then uh, I will add new line so that uh, upper will appear on text area line by line. I guess that's enough. So um, let me test it. Then I will continue.
the first one, uh, let me select the date, uh, 9, then OK. So we can see um, year, day, month, and then second one, it will return 2019, year value, then uh, name of uh, month, then uh, numeric value number 1, then last one is uh, day. So the actual value refers to uh, last number, 09. You can change to a uh, different day, so it will reflect the different data. Okay, next one, uh, I will show you some of the calculation we can do with uh, local date. Uh, because uh, dp dot get value will return a uh, local date object. So let's say um, someone rent rent a movie and then um, they have to return in seven days. So that we like to know a uh, return date. So we can actually do that quickly. I just say uh, get value uh, plus days seven for seven days. That means if you pick the day for today, 9, then um, if you are wondering about the return date in 7 days, uh, it's going to return uh, 16 January 2019. Okay, next one, uh, I will do the uh, same thing with uh, the with, uh, weekly uh, measurement. So you can add one week if you want to. So it exited, uh, will return exactly the same value. So get value and plus. And then instead of days, we use a weeks. Even though it's one week, we just say use the name of method called plus weeks. So I will put number one. That will actually do the exactly same thing as a plus seven days. So you can pick one, uh, seven days or one week. So let me add new line. You can do that for uh, months. So I say plus possibly two months. Months. So dp get value dot plus months two. Then uh, I will use the TA information append text and the add new line. The other method, you can actually use a minus. So let's say minus 10 years from 2019. So it's going to return um, 2009, uh, today's day, which is 9, and the month, which is January. Okay, minus uh, years. You can use uh, years and months and week or days. So let me just quickly demonstrate only one called uh, minus years. Okay, let's see um, how it works. Okay, and I'm selecting 9 January. The first value, which is correct, a uh, year, 2019, correct. Months, uh, January, obviously correct. Then uh, I'm looking for numeric value for January, number one, and today's day, which is uh, nine. Then uh, I'm looking at um, adding seven days. So nine plus seven is 16. Also, I'm adding one week uh, from nine, so which is actually 16, same number. So you can also add the two months. So January plus two months, which is March. So 03, that's correct. So you can do a minus 10 years, which is 2009. Same day, same month. Okay, next one I will show you uh, certain patterns. Uh, because that depends on um, your regions or locations, 
your your day months and year might be uh, slightly different from uh, what what you see on my screen so you can actually change it um, the way you like it so get value format it looks a bit complicated uh, daytime formatter and there's one method called uh, all patterns patterns usually follow same as a calendar object or a calendar class so let me just uh, show it to you uh, how to find uh, more information about uh, patterns so if you press control spacebar on a uh, name of method called all pattern it will bring up uh, pop-ups so let me just type the actual pattern uh, months for mm and then dd -Y, 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 y so just press control uh, spacebar then uh, click pattern off so let me open it with the external web browser so that will be looks a lot bigger so um, if you look at here capital M uh, okay here here is the one you say um, the meaning is a month of year uh, will return number seven so if you use the two number to capital M it will return zero seven and then look for lowercase d okay day of months so it will return a uh, number one zero for example so I like to use a dd so uh, if it's the first day it will return zero one instead of one the year also I like to have uh, four digits instead of uh, 19 I like to have a uh, 2019 so that's how you 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 look at the patterns okay um, let's learn the program then see how it looks like so according to this one I uh, will show you um, year months and then day the last one i uh, show you a uh, reverse kind of order uh, day sorry uh, j, the months and then day and then year according to my pattern so feel free to change then obviously you, when you test it, you can change the year also you can change the months uh, you can type it or you can use the pop-up calendar say 2020 and then uh, same output but different patterns um, this one say um, months and then year and then so months and day and year also obviously you can type it by yourself um, okay let me seems okay so now we can see this is October uh, here's October. Okay, that's all. Thank you.